One minute, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Nice. Nice. So basically, this is my profile, and I am certified blockchain. Is it all? Is it visible? Ji, my uh, screen is visible, right? Yes, sir. Visible. Visible. Yeah, yeah, nice, nice. Okay, so, uh, so I am Hamid here. I am certified blockchain healthcare professional, and I am uh, certified IoT professional, and I am a certified digital marketer, as well as I am a certified pharmacist. So the uh, main problem uh, in the healthcare system is the drug counterfeiting. So there is up to now we have no solution or very less solution, very few solutions for drug counterfeiting. But uh, the drug counterfeiting, uh, the blockchain is only the solution. Uh, you know, trust uh, trust is an important parameter in healthcare uh, sector. Uh, so for the trust, the blockchain plays a very uh, crucial role. So nobody doubts that fake medicine are an increasingly threat to consumer and the pharma industry. Bottom line. Uh, so the question is: Is the blockchain answer to secure the supply chain? So my answer is yes, and I will tell you how how it is. So today I am going to share the few details about what is blockchain and uh, what is blockchain and uh, uh, applications of blockchain, blockchain in healthcare. A healthcare transaction in blockchain, benefits of blockchain in healthcare, drawbacks of blockchain in healthcare, and challenges of blockchain in healthcare. So, what is blockchain? So, blockchain is a specific type of database uh, where it differs from a typical database in the way it stores information. Blockchain stores data in blocks and they are chained together. So, as new data comes in it, as entered into the fresh block, once the block is filled with the data, it is chained to the previous block, which makes the data chained together in a chronological order. So the different types of information can be stored on blockchain, the, uh, but the most common use uh, so far has a ledger for transaction. In Bitcoin case, uh, you know, so blockchain, uh, everyone knows the Bitcoin. Uh, in the term, uh, so blockchain means Bitcoin, everyone knows, but it plays a vital role in healthcare. I will explain how it is. So blockchain is used in a decentralized way so that no single person or group has control. Rather, all users, all users collectively retain the control. So it is not controlled by a single person or a single user or a group, but everyone can retain, uh, collectively retain the control. So decentralized blockchains, so blockchain is the technology where it is decentralized, uh, which is immutable, uh, which means the data is entered is reversible. Uh, for Bitcoin, uh, this means the transactions are permanently recorded and uh, viewable to anyone. So here, uh, few blocks are there. So the data uh, once transfer into the one block and once uh, again, new transaction occurs. So the data again entered into the uh, new block by linking. So block means all transactions within a set time time period, and blockchain means all the links together. So here a P2 network example I already shown in the presentation. So blockchain seems complicated, uh, and it definitely it can be, but its core concept is really quite simple. Uh, blockchain is a type of database. To be able to understand blockchain, it helps to first understand what the database actually is. So a database is a collection of information. We all know that the database uh, hosting and all the things. It is a collection of information that is stored electronically on a computer system or on a server. So we call it as a centralized system. Uh, information or data in database is typically structured in table format and allow for easier searching and filtering for specific information. So, so the blockchain is almost similar to uh, database, but there is a small difference between the blockchain and the database. So one key difference between a typical database and a blockchain is the way the data is structured. A blockchain collects information together in groups, uh, also known as the blocks that hold sets of information. 
uh, you know, blocks have certain storage capacities and when fill a chain onto the previously filled blocks forming a chain of data known as the blockchain. So all the information that allow the freshly added block is compliant into a new form block and that will be also added uh, to the chain once it has filled. So here I'm sharing, I'm explaining the few applications of blockchain in healthcare. So blockchain helps in medical records and patient data storage. Uh, it also helps pull uh, it applicable in e-medicine and IOT, uh, medicine and medicinal equipment supply chains, uh, prescription medications and clinical trial results, digitalization of medical services and as well as health incidences. So here, uh, the most important thing is the storage of patient data because the patient data uh, is very important and no hospital is uh, shared the respective patients which are there in the hospital. So this is the main problem we are facing now. So, so the blockchain will help in medical records and patient data storage. So the blockchain, how it helps uh, so initially, what is uh, patient data management? So patient data management is one of the popular use case of blockchain in the healthcare. Uh, health agencies tend to separate patients' medical records and it's possible to identify a patient medical history without asking previous healthcare providers. It is possible with blockchain. So it results uh, in a significant amount of time and may lead to mistakes because of human errors but strong health records on the blockchain give you a transparent and accessible view of medical history. So by keeping the patient's information uh, in one place, it became simpler from patients and doctors to view the data. So the, here, uh, the secure storage of medical records is 100% possible with blockchain and electronic medical data access and permission management is also possible with the blockchain and supply chain and health assisting tracking is also possible with the uh, blockchain. So the main the main problems uh, in patient data storage is 100% we can solve with the help of the blockchain. So here the few parameters uh, are there uh, where the blockchain is applicable in hospitals, in clinic, clinics, um, health supervisors, medical labs, health institutions, uh, manufacturers, mobile developers, pharmaceutical companies, pharmaceutical distributors, etc. So the blockchain will show maximum applications in the respective areas, uh, which is uh, shown in the uh, slide. So here, what is the problem? So annual death from uh, fake medicines is around 1 lakh to 1 million people, uh, 1 lakh to 1 million people. Over 250,000 children are suffering with uh, drug counterfeiting. So counterfeiting drugs are in 3, million, 3 billion industry according to our uh, sources. So from 2000 to 2010 to 2014 interval, there are around uh, suspended uh, 57,000 illicit online pharmacies and also seized more than 30.3 million fake units of fake medications. So counterfeiting drugs enter the mainstream through inefficient supply chains. So, so this is the main problem what we are facing now. And uh, another problem is counterfeiting pharmaceuticals. So it's uh, the drug may be contaminated, contain wrong or no active ingredient and wrong dose of active ingredient. And pharma, pharma companies and governments are reluctant to publish the, publishes the problem. Here, heart ligament drug sales and risk organizations and leaders, liability concerns. So 15% of all drugs sold are fake. Over 15, 50% in the parts of uh, Africa and Asia. So this is the second problem what we are facing, our healthcare industry is facing. And the third problem is no way to trace drug and other products. See, from patient to original manufacturer, we don't know how the drug uh, will receive uh, to the patient from the manufacturer. And so in between who are the, there, the wholesaler or the thing, or the number of uh, supply chain is there. So we can easily trace the complete supply chain and only visible from the previous links in the chain and gaps in the process communications cause delays, increasing costs and errors and resulting gaps, availability, vulnerable to stranded and uh, falsified medicines and devices.
inability to capture the vulnerable analytics. So, and the fourth uh, problem is uh, difficulty complying with the regulations. So, regulation is also a problem where FDA, Drug Supply Chain, Security Act, uh, and audits and uh, recalls, all these are uh, main problems where right, the healthcare industry is facing. And the final one is the invent uh, inventory management. Uh, it is which is inaccurate. We know we all know uh, the situation how the invent, uh, in uh, how the inventory management is, which is inaccurate and uh, tedious. So uh, here I'm going to share the blockchain example of a drug supply. See here uh, from manufacturer to wholesale and wholesale to pharmacy hospital and pharmacy hospital to patient. Okay. And here the wholesale uh, the distributors and everything is there. So every step of the drug supply chain can be tracked and to prevent counterfeit of medications and quickly manage recalls. You know, see for example, uh, I will share with a small example here. For example, the paracetamol drug is there. The parameter is manufactured in the manufacturer. Once they will dispatch it to wholesaler, here they will create a blockchain code, uh, which is irreversible. So what the code they created with the help of blockchain is re irreversible. So automatically, uh, for example, they send a huge quantity of strips, for example, 10,000 boxes of paracetamol uh, tablets, which is given to the wholesale uh, distributor. Uh, so automatically the figure, the 10,000 boxes is noted here. Uh, from there to, uh, it will come to here again the, from wholesaler to Pharmacy, they will uh, again, uh, the wholesale will send the drugs to pharmacist again here, a new block will be created, which is irreversible. From here to patient, a new block is created, which is irreversible. So here, almost all the inventory and the quantity of drug supplied, the quantity of drug procured, everything will be monitored with the help of blockchain and which can't be irreversible. So here, no one can change the uh, data. Uh, how much quantity received by, so if no one can change the data is the is really the patient received three strips of paracetamol can be also be entered into the block so and second problem is if see the patient uh, for example the patient uh, one, one patient met, uh, met with an accident uh, and he went to a hospital uh, some some ex hospital in some other cities. He, for example, he visited some other city. He, therefore, there he met with accident, and there is uh, a hospital he gone through. And uh, so the new hospital person doesn't have patient data that he is diabetic or that is hypertension or he is uh, uh, alcoholic or he is uh, something uh, complete data you don't know. Again, again, the new hospital doctor had to take complete patient data. Uh, so that uh, so that again the doctor can assess or can diagnose and give treatment to the respective patient. So here in the blockchain, what happens? You know, if the patient uh, if the patient uh, will give some data in a hospital, it is shared in the form of patient ID. So the data shared by the patient, which is irreversible or immutable, so and it is secured with the patient itself. So the complete data provided by the patient will be generated in the form of patient ID, uh, which is secured uh, with the patient. Unless, uh, unfortunately, he want to move, go to a new hospital. If uh, the new hospital, uh, in the new hospital, the doctor entered the patient ID or patient key, uh, or there is a key, a patient key, uh, which is used in the blockchain. Uh, private key then only the the other doctor also the doctor also can assess the patient so if the patient gives the key then only the patient data can be accessible to the respective doctor and that data can't be assessed by the pharmacist or laboratory person or any other healthcare professionals only so for each node uh, so when the patient uh, shared the private key to the respective doctor then only the data will be transcripted so this is the one of the best advantage of the blockchain where uh, selling of uh, patients data uh, in different areas like clinical trials and all the is a big problem now so it can be shot out because if anyone want the patient data uh, definitely the, they have to collect the private key from the patient then only it is possible to uh, collect the complete data of the patient 
so 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 here in the blockchain everything is interlinked and the new every data every input data will create a new block or a new transaction so it is irreversible so based on the patient id from birth to complete uh, uh, complete his life's uh, life we'll get the water which medicines the patient has taken the patient has undergone which laboratory tests and the patient uh, visited which which hospitals is the patient all colleague everything will be collected collectively with the help of patient id so it is very useful and very it, it's required uh, for the uh, for the future generation and definitely blockchain will play a crucial role in the patient uh, data safety management and other things so how can blockchain uh, and related technology help so blockchain permission uh, per, uh, permission blockchain smart contract and authentication validation built into the process so here we have in the blockchain we have two type of two types of keys one is private key and another one is public key so private key is the key where only the person can share when he give the private key and public key can be accessible to everyone so here uh, here uh, so with the permission blockchains we can see when we have some smart contracts uh, we can get the help of some smart contracts and we will get authentication and validation validation also so and uh, the further more technologies which are qr scanners uh, microscopic testing chemical electromagnetic uh, genetic and radiological and this also resulting in effective track and trace uh, improved inventory management improved auditing mechanisms ability to recall drug quickly and easily so improved drug uh, capture analytics ability to resistant the uh, anti substitute or falsified medicines so by this way uh, so everything will be monitored and everything will be irreversible which is most wanted to reduce the drug counterfeiting so blockchain solutions for pharmaceutical supply chain already i said the us fda on june 13 2019 they want to use blockchain distributed uh, ledger technology uh, to track and trace the production and movement of the drugs and vaccines in the united states and the fda fda has joined the forces with ibm corp so now ibm is also uh, in blockchain walmart stores mercant coins and others to help create drug supply chain and system based blockchain technology so the pilot program is expected to complete it and put in better testing and it is progress, progress and it is completed also and the system is being launched under the drug supply chain security act so blockchain solutions for pharmaceutical supply chains in 2018 uh, the amazon announced the launch of healthcare company uh, patented with uh, brickshire health hathaway and jp morgan and amazon launched exclusive line of uh, 60 otc healthcare products on basic care and 2019 walmart in negotiation negotiation to purchase healthcare company hanama and 2009 eh uh, health health providers epic uh, teamed up with uh, hanama and the pharmaceutical made the blockchain is integrated system becomes more necessary so here i am going to conclude that uh, just a minute yeah uh, so here uh, i am going to conclude that uh, you know uh, blockchain is most wanted is most uh, and the most required technology in future so as healthcare professionals it is our responsibility to trust the patients to counterfeit the drugs so hope we all uh, learn much more about blockchain technology and we'll go uh, we'll do good good things in future we'll make the decentralized system which is very uh, useful for uh, data security of the patients for uh, procurement uh, supply chain and all the things uh, so hence here i am going to conclude it. Uh, if any doubts you can ask i will uh, ready to explain you can please mail me